It's Zubin Eshamali and Zubin El Janubi time. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm James Alberry. And I'm Marlene Hidalgo. And I'm Dean Regis. And we're here to help you be sure you know what you're seeing in the night sky when you look up. Once again, my friends, it's Zubin Eshamali and Zubin El Janubi time. So loosen up your tongue. And fasten your cosmic seatbelts. And let's go outside to find them. Okay, we've got our skies set up for any night during the next couple of weeks, just after it gets dark out. And if you look south, you will see the giant fish hook shaped constellation of Scorpius the Scorpion, followed by the teapot shaped portion of Sagittarius. But up and to the right of the fish hook of Scorpius, you'll see two semi bright stars with some of the strangest sounding names in the heavens Zubanesh Shamali and Zubanel Janubi. Now, in Arabic, Zubanesh Shamali means the Northern Claw, while Zubanel Janubi means the Southern Claw. And about 3,000 years ago, they were the claws of the scorpion. But then Julius Caesar and his cronies came along and lopped them off and renamed them Libra the Scales for the symbol of Roman justice, which I'm sure led many an ancient stargazer to mutter, there ought to be a law. At any rate, these two stars are wonderful, and although they appear visually to be the same brightness from Earth, actually they are very, very different. For instance, Zuban al Janubi is about 65 light years away from our planet Earth and shines 25 times brighter than our own sun, and it's approaching us at the incredible speed of 6 miles per second. And upon closer examination, we also find that Zuban al Janubi is not just one, not even two, but three stars, two of them so close together that they orbit each other once every 20 days. On the other hand, Zuban al Shamali, the northern claw, is over twice as far away as Zuban al Janubi, being 140 light years distant. And although it appears the same brightness as its claw companion, it isn't, for it's six times brighter than Zuban al Janubi which means that it's over 150 times brighter than our sun. And it's speeding toward us at four times faster than Zubin el Janubi at a rate of 21 miles per second. Furthermore, Zubin es Shamali is also at the center of a centuries old debate. You see, over 2000 years ago, it was listed as the brightest of all the stars of the Scorpion, even brighter than Antares. A few centuries later, however, the great astronomer Ptolemy described Antares as equal to Zubin es Shamali in brightness. But today, Antares appears five times brighter. Has Zubin es Shamali dimmed over the past 2,000 years? Or, conversely, has Antares gotten much brighter? At any rate, it's always fun to try to pronounce these two tongue twisters of summer. Absolutely. Now, let's see what the planets are doing this week. Okay, we have our sky set for just after sunset this week, and you're going to have a great opportunity to watch the planet Mars wander closer and closer to the ringed planet Saturn and the brightest star in Virgo, Spica. Indeed, as the nights pass, the red planet, named after the Roman god of war, will be inching ever closer night by night toward a beautiful conjunction with Saturn on the night of August 7, 2012. But wait, there's more. On the night of July 24th, a slender crescent moon will cozy up with Mars, Saturn, and Spica to form a cosmic trapezoid that you won't soon forget. Here's where Mars will be on July the 16th, the 18th, the 20th, and the 22nd, and the 24th. And if you haven't had a chance to look at Saturn, this is a great time to find it because it will be right next to the star Spica. Spica and Saturn form an almost straight line with the star Arcturus, the brightest star of Boötes the Herdsman. If you remember, just a few months ago in March, Saturn formed a triangle with Arcturus and Spica. Because we and all the other planets are traveling around the Sun, over time the planets appear to change their position against the background stars. Hence the name planet, which translated from Greek means wanderer. So get outside and watch the wanderers do what they do best. And don't forget to do some Zubin es Shamaliing and Zubin el Janubiing while you're at it. It's easy to do if you remember to keep, keep looking, looking up. up.